Hi, my name is Megan Daniels. I am 20 years old from Delta, British Columbia. I am so excited to be applying once again for the Spirit of Sandra Scholarship. Last year, I was so fortunate to have been selected as one of the six Spirit of Sandra Scholars. It was amazing to have the opportunity to represent the Foundation and be a part of such a tight-knit group of mentors and scholars. Our trip to Winnipeg was so inspiring and the most memorable part for me was visiting the NICU of the Children's Hospital Foundation of Manitoba. Part of our group was inside looking at the equipment as well as the working processes of the NICU. While we were waiting our turn in the hallway, two parents came through the door. They were taking their newborn home for the very first time. Being a part of such an emotional and happy experience of this family's life really put into perspective the importance of NICU care. Due to generous donors such as the Sandra Schmerler Foundation, these children have the opportunity to go home and grow up to be whatever they want to be. My experience in the NICU provided inspiration and motivation throughout my fundraiser. In March, we hosted a 18-team, three-day bond spiel at the Delta Thistle Curling Club. The Sandra Schmerler Open Fun Spiel included a barbecue dinner as well as a silent auction. We had over 30 prizes generously donated from Briar jerseys to even a weekend getaway in Whistler. Ultimately, we were able to raise just over $4,000 for the Sandra Schmerler Foundation. Outside of all of our fundraising activities, I also learned how to budget, how to build a draw, as well as how to cater a dinner for over 100 people. Many people shared their personal connections to the Sandra Schmerler Foundation or to premature childcare. It was so amazing to see my entire club band together in support of the Sandra Schmerler Foundation. Champions start small! If I was selected as a Spirit of Sandra Scholar, I would host the Open Fun Spiel once again. After the success from last year, I had many teams who were in the Spiel as well as those who couldn't make it ask for it to be run again. In addition to hosting the spiel, I would also want to do a crowd sweep as the 2018 Scotties will be held in my home province in Penticton, BC next year. A little more about me, I'm currently going to school full time at Simon Fraser University with a major in history and a minor in archaeology. Following the completion of my degree in fall 2018, I plan on enrolling in SFU's professional development program in which I can attain my secondary school certification. As a history teacher, I hope to teach my students not about the names, dates, and times, but rather the stories of everyday people, because that's what makes history so fascinating. All of my high school teachers had such a positive impact on my life, and I hope to inspire the next generation of students to find their passions in life. Now, moving on to curling. I started curling when I was nine years old because I wanted to spend more time with my dad. Since then, I could have never imagined that we would be traveling all over Canada and even internationally through the sport. In 2014, our family found ourselves in Liverpool, Nova Scotia, experiencing our first Canadian juniors. Once again, we packed our bags in 2016 and headed to Stratford, Ontario. With my sister skipping our team, we reached the national final against Mary Fay from Nova Scotia. We had already become friends with them when we were in Liverpool in 2014, so it was so great to play against our friends in the final. We knew that no matter the outcome, one of us would be heading to Denmark. Even though we lost the final, my sister was kindly asked to accompany Team Faye as they represented Canada at the World Juniors in Denmark. My family and I went along to watch and support them. It was so amazing to see our friends compete on the world level and achieve a gold medal. It has inspired me to work even harder and one day compete on the world stage myself. Alongside my dream of representing Canada at the World Junior Curling Championships, my ultimate goal is to wear the maple leaf on my back at the Olympics just like Sandra did. Behind me is the 2010 Vancouver Olympic Cauldron. Being able to experience the Olympics in my hometown was so amazing. The legacy it has left behind leaves a constant inspiration to athletes such as myself. In order to support my curling and academics, I have been working part-time at Old Navy for the past two years. It has been quite difficult trying to juggle part-time work, full-time school, as well as curling competition. In my last year of junior eligibility, my team has been working tirelessly trying to reach our goal of getting to that national podium. To be selected as a Spirit of Sandra Scholar would allow me to shift my focus onto studying and curling. With the financial aspect alleviated, I would just be able to focus on doing what I love. I would just like to thank every single person at the Sandra Schmerler Foundation for all of your remarkable work. It has been an absolute dream being part of your wonderful community this past year. Being a scholar has made me a better person just by seeing the unconditional care and generosity that you provide. So from the very, very bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you, thank you.